Beautiful Dreamers. Yes, I know my hair is different. It's red now. What? So we're going to be starting off with my brows are already done and I have one eye already done. And as you can see, I put a piece of tape just to add some shape. So we're starting off with the Juvia's Place uh, Dulce palette, I believe that's what it's called, and this light pink color in which I think is called cream and I'm just taking a it cosmetics brush and I'm blending it through the crease so yes this is a voiceover which is a little bit different than something I do I just wanted to test it out and see if it was good as you can see um, or a CD, not see if it was good, see if it was something I could do more often. Um, as you can see, I did zoom the camera in a little bit closer, and we are just blending that as a first color or transition color into the crease. So yes, we are doing a Drunk on Love tutorial today, Valentine's Day makeup. I am very alone, but figured I'd do some fun makeup to make up for that. Next, we're taking the Oh La La palette and taking the color Sandbar. This palette is by ColourPop Cosmetics. I love it. It's a very pink palette and we're taking a very hot pink color on a Morphe brush, which I will leave it down below because I don't remember the name of it. And we're just taking that and blending that through the crease as well. So yes, just taking a lot of pink colors and um, stuff like that and blending it through the crease. By the way guys, what do you think? I finally got my like background set up and don't worry, it'll change. I couldn't find a pink sheet or a pink background. That's what I meant. Um, so unfortunately, we're stuck using gray. Next, we're gonna take the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Science Palette. We're taking this kind of bright reddish pinkish color and we're again blending that through the crease using a Anastasia Beverly Hills double-ended brush from one of the, you know, the many palettes that, that it comes with, like the Soft Glam and all of that. And we're just blending that again through the crease, adding some more depth and I guess definition and stuff like that. Yada yada, you, you know the drill, we're blending it through the crease. Next, we're going to be taking Gemini, and we're going to be taking that on another Morphe brush. Again, it will be linked down below. And this is a very shimmery, kind of like purplish, pinky color, and I'm spraying it with a little bit of rose water just to get more of a metallic, it's just better pigmentation and more of a metallic. And we're just putting that all over my lid as, of course, the lid color. I think it's a, such a pretty color and it works so well on its own and with the, with the, um, I don't know. Next we're taking that same Morphe brush and just diffusing the line. So now I'm peeling off the tape, as you can see, to create a like edge. We're taking this Physician's Formula uh, eyeliner and just doing a winged liner. This is slightly sped up because, um, because me doing eyeliner takes a little bit of time. So just you guys can just watch me do eyeliner. Here's a winged line. This is how I do it. All right, now we're adding some mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. It's like one of my go-to mascaras. I love it. It's very affordable as well. I think it does great things for my lashes. So yeah, there you go. Now I'm just taking a cotton round with a little bit of uh, micellar water and I'm just cleaning up the underside of underneath my eyes and cleaning up the line because it does tend to have a little bit of fallout. Now we're priming the face using this Makeup Forever uh, primer and I really like this one because it's pore filling and it just makes your skin look super nice and smooth. I like this, very good. And we're just patting that in using my fingers and I'm using the like the viewfinder as like a mirror so if I don't have a mirror in front of me that's why. And now we're just speeding through me applying foundation. Yes, I zoom the camera out a little bit and I usually do, I will put on the foundation first and I'll mix it together because I have to mix a few um, with a foundation brush and apply it that way and then I use a Morphe brush I will, again I'll link it down below or I'll list it down below and I just use that to blend it out and create that kind of smooth canvas because um I don't know it's just the way I like to do it I don't really use sponges anymore I used to apply my foundation like that but I don't really anymore 
Next, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape, concealer, and concealing under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and my forehead, and using a Real Technique sponge to blend it out, basically. Just blending it out under the eyes, and it's sped up, of course, because some things take a long time. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so next up, we're gonna be taking this cream highlighter on the cusp and just putting that on the cheekbones, nose bridge, and Cupid's bow. And basically, it's my favorite. It's by ColourPop. I mention it all the time. I think it's such a pretty highlighter. It's my favorite. Now we're gonna be setting my under eyes, my sides of my nose, forehead, and chin using the Laura Mercier powder um, because it is my favorite powder. And I don't usually set my whole face because I don't feel like I need it i just set the areas that i feel like i'm the most oily which is the t-zone obviously so as you can see i'm just doing that currently with a small like real techniques powder brush setting brush something like that that's pretty much what we're doing Next, I'm taking my contour, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've talked about this in What's in My Makeup Bag, and I'm using another Morphe brush, and I'm just doing some light contouring. I didn't do a lot of contouring this look because I didn't really feel like I needed it, um, and just, just doing some generally contouring on my cheekbones. Now I'm taking my favorite bronzer, which is the Wet n Wild bronzer, and I think you're dragging me down. If I'm wrong, I will put it down below. But again, just doing some light bronzing with a Real Techniques buffing brush, I think it's called. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, just doing a little bit of light bronzing. Now I'm taking that cream color again, and I'm taking a Urban Decay. This came with some Naked palette. I think it was like the Naked 2 or something. And I'm just running that color on under my eye on my lower lash line to start out the colors. Now I'm taking that Sandbar color again from the ColourPop palette and running that again under my eye. That's, there's enough said. I mean, I'm just running it under my eye. There's not much to say there, <laughs> honestly. Again, taking that same like reddish pinkish color and just more focusing that on the outer edge of my eye uh, or lower lash line, I guess, technically, and um, just kind of blending it in with the sandbar color that we used earlier. Again, on the lower lash line. And then I'm taking Scorpio on this Morphe brush, which I, I really should know the names of, but I don't. Spraying it a little bit with rose water and then just applying that on my inner corner of my eye to add a little shimmery pink there. And then we're gonna take a, actually this is a lip liner by AOA, which is the Shop Missa brand, and I'm just applying that to my lower lash line, or actually lower water line, I guess I should say, to add a little bit of more red, I guess, technically, to the just the lower water line. The water line, I guess. I don't know. Next, we're taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio, and I believe this is Pool Party, and we're taking the really pink shimmery color, and I'm taking this on a BH Cosmetics brush, and just going to be going very, very, really ham with the blush. Basically, I'm blushing my cheekbones, cheeks, and then my nose, as you will see, just to give that little, that very blushed look, I guess, technically. So, yeah. up we're taking this Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter and I'm using that to highlight my face this is in a this is in molten rose gold and it is a very pretty pinky highlighter but it doesn't come off super super pink on the face so I'm putting that uh, where you would normally highlight cheekbones Cupid's bow taking the same highlighter on a little bit of a smaller brush and highlighting my brow bone so that's what I'm doing so yes 
put it places you wouldn't normally highlight. Cheekbones, nose bridge, Cupid's bow. Next, I'm taking the Sugar Pill Liquid Poison Liquid Lipstick in Girl Crush, which is a super hot pink color, and I'm just applying that to my lips. Um, yeah, I'm just applying it to my lips. It's a super pretty hot pink color. I use the color Nurse from the same collection as my eyebrows, or to do my eyebrows, so yeah. Next, we're going to be taking this NYX liquid liner and we're going to be doing hearts all over our face. So this one you can't really see, but I was just drawing little hearts or little like V shapes and filling them in all over my face. And this is the, this is to start out with. So I did like three little hearts, like little freckle hearts. Um, I did two on my cheek and just one on the side of my nose, I believe. But yeah, just to start out the hearts. Next, we're gonna be taking that same red lip liner and just doing a couple more hearts, uh, just in various random places, like almost like freckles. Now we're taking this Wet n Wild paint palette and we're taking a brow brush and just stamping. So I was basically taking the rounded and doing it backwards. So I was taking the rounded and the pointed and tried to do the rounded edge as the heart shape and the pointed edge as obviously the point of the heart. So I'm covering a lot. Um, I'm covering my face a lot. I apologize. Hopefully you can get the gist of kind of what I was doing. But I was taking that light pink color that I think I point to in the uh, palette and just doing it that way. Next, I'm taking a white eyeliner and doing hearts that way. I didn't really like how they came out, so I didn't do a lot. Like the one on my, um, I, I think it's your right side of my face didn't come out that great. As you can see, it kind of came out a little big, so I didn't do that many hearts with that. Now I'm taking the Girl Crush same brow brush and using the same techniques um, to do hot pink hearts on my face. Uh, taking that same lipstick that I used on my lips and making hearts on my face. Now I'm taking the color Nurse, same collection, the Liquid Poison, and this is what I used on my eyebrows. It's a beautiful red color, so I'm just taking that same brow brush again and um, putting hearts on my face, putting red hearts on my face. I think, uh, I like how this look turned out. I think it is really cool. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just putting hearts everywhere on my nose, like freckles and on my cheeks and stuff like that. So we're finished with the hearts and I'm going to take this Mario Badescu rose water spray and just spray my face just to kind of set it and take my uh, fan and fan my face and we're all done. Basically this look has was kind of inspired by everybody. Uh, I feel like this look is done a lot on Valentine's Day or near Valentine's Day. This was kind of inspired by Nikita's Dragons video, um, the heart freckles especially. But I'll leave it linked down below in case you want to go watch that. Uh, but yeah, this is finished and I hope you guys like this. So here's the look. <laughs>